It is the Olympic story that we are zooming in on at this hour. It is a significant move to make India a sporting powerhouse. The Indian Olympic Association has formally sent a letter of intent to the future host a commission of the International Olympic Committee expressing New Delhi's interest in hosting the Olympic and the Paralympic Games in 2036. Um, in fact, uh, the Ministry of uh, Youth Affairs has also said that they have, uh, they are in know of the fact that I.O. has sent this letter. The buzz around India's bid to host the prestigious uh, Olympic Games has been going on since the Paris Games in August as an event. India's representative to International Olympic Committee, Neeta Ambani, had remarked that the day is not far when India will host the Olympic Games. We will talk about uh, India's uh, big move and, and the letter of intent, big intent being put out there to host the Olympic Games. It is going to be an Olympic size movement indeed for uh, India as we look ahead to 2036. There on your screen uh, are, the, uh, are all the Olympians who had taken part in the Paris Olympic Games. Uh, Laksha Sen falling very narrowly short of a medal. The hockey team that returned uh, with a bronze medal, all of them went and met the Prime Minister after the uh, Paris Olympic Games. India ended in the 71st position in Paris. To discuss the moment, we will uh, be joined by uh, Dilip Turke, the president of Indian Hockey, uh, in Indian Hockey Federation. He is an Olympian and Padma Shri as well as an Arjuna Wadi. We will be also joined by Shagun Chaudhary, uh, who is uh, an ex-shooter, the first woman to represent India at the Olympics in shotgun. Dr. Krishna Punia, international gold medalist and uh, an Indian discus thrower. We will also be joined by senior sports journalist Naresh, uh, Naresh Pritham to talk about this moment as India expresses its desire to host the Paris Olympic Games. Well, we have Norris Pritham uh, with us uh, at the moment. Uh, Norris, tell us uh, how big is this moment, India shooting off this letter of intent uh, to, um, to the committee that organizes the Olympic Games? Uh, Rika, emotionally, I would say yes, it's a big thing that uh, India is uh, uh, trying to bid uh, for the Olympic Games, which is a big, big thing in the sporting world. But with the disclaimer is that we have to be ready for it also. I mean, not uh, just infrastructure, uh, but otherwise politically, socially, and especially when you do a uh, bid for the para games. I mean, the, the facilities for uh, not just para athletes, even the uh, the challenge people, I think in India, is not really up to the mark. Uh, in uh, I know the people in Metro Rail, uh, the security officials even ask uh, the wheelchair people to get up from the wheelchair so that they can pass the wheelchair through security drill. I mean, imagine if somebody is in a wheelchair, how can he get up from the wheelchair so and pa pass it through the security drill? So I think these are the things. It's a long, long way, and um, uh, it's not an it's not an easy thing to get the games. Hmm. A lot of processes goes on. Um, the committees will come and check the infrastructure and everything. And uh, and I remember in uh, when we were building for the Commonwealth Games right. in Jamaica, we were all set to win. And suddenly we realized that uh, the Canadians were uh, uh, bidding with a lot of more money. So the president at that time of IUA, Suresh Kalmadi, he had hmm. to, you know, literally in the middle of the night in India, he woke up uh, the prime, then Prime Minister late Atal Bihari Vajpayee and he sanctioned a little more money, and mm. that's how the games we could get the games. So wow. it's not not an easy process, uh, mm. but yes, uh, the fact that we are trying to uh, bid or we are trying to show our interest, I think it's a big thing. It's a historic moment for India. Naris, we also have Dilip Tirke on the show with us, uh, former hockey captain. He's the president of Hockey India right now. But before I go to go over to Dilip Bhai, uh, just one more question to you. Uh, uh, Norris, how how early do we get to know whether India gets to stage the Olympic Games or not? What is the timeline looking now, right now? No, no, it's a long way. You don't you don't get it uh, right away. I mean, it's not that you bid and you get the game. There are other bidders also. The the, the evaluation is done. 
and then the bidding committee uh, uh, they will visit india they will see the facilities mm. and they will meet and in fact they will meet uh, uh, the 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 consent of the opposition parties or the opposition is also required mm. so i think uh, it's a long long way but uh, sometimes we have to bid uh, fine mm. i mean i don't know what what is going to be happen uh, when the g- games um, come closer so it's a long long way it's not that uh, right. you you bid today and tomorrow or day after in a month or a year it's a very very long process you have to show hmm. in your intent you have to show the whatever you have said in the bid you have to really show it on ground also at hmm. least the blueprint should be there and, and th- then only the evaluation committee evaluation committee will take a chance or will take a uh, will decide and the ioc will decide then whether the game should be given or not Dilip ji we just had the paris games and india ended in the 71st position one gold could have pushed us to the 40th position tell us realistically where are we in terms of athlete preparation uh i think the uh, I think this question is for dilip ji uh, dilip oh, ji oh, 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 i'm at- sorry i'm sorry athlete sorry. athlete preparation uh, agar hum dekhe yes. uske bare mein kya hamare uh, yahan pe india mein stage karne ke liye हमारे कबर्ड में एथलीट्स है हमारे पास एथलीट्स है जो कि हमारे हमारा जो ओलंपिक प्रदर्शन है उसको बढ़ावा दे सकता है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सबसे पहले तो आप सभी को मुबारकबाद देना चाहूंगा एटलीस्ट हमें भारत को कॉन्फिडेंस आ गया कि ओलंपिक्स होस्ट कर सकते हैं और और आज आईओ ने इंटरनेशनल ओलंपिक कमेटी को लेटर ऑफ इंटेंट आज भेजे गए हैं और सो डेफिनेटली हमारे पास खिलाड़ी हैं काफी खिलाड़ी हैं आप देखे होंगे जो हर एक जितने भी हमारे हमें मेडल मिले हैं जितने भी इंडिविजुअल मेडल्स मिले हैं देखिए वो सब किस तरीके से आया है आप देख लीजिए कि उससे पहले तो हम कभी हम सोचे नहीं थे कि इतना मेडल आ सकते हैं और सबसे अच्छी बात है कि लास्ट ओलंपिक्स में इंडियन ओलंपिक हिस्ट्री में सबसे ज्यादा मेडल हमारे प्लेयर्स जीत के आए कि हालांकि जिस हिसाब से हमें प्रिपेयर कर रहे हैं जिस हिसाब से हम ओलंपिक्स के लिए हम देखते हुए प्रिपेयर कर रहे हैं हमारे जितने भी फेडरेशन हमारे गवर्नमेंट की ओर से हमें और ध्यान देने की जरूरत है जहां ओलंपिक की बात कर रहे हैं जहां ओलंपिक्स होस्ट करने की बात कर रहे हैं तो उसी हिसाब से मेरे ख्याल से सबका सपोर्ट साथ में रहेगा गवर्नमेंट फेडरेशन प्लेयर्स कॉपोरेट सेक्टर्स सभी लोगों के साथ रहेगा एक ओलंपिक मूवमेंट जब बन जाएगी तो मेरे ख्याल से और मेरे ख्याल कोई सोचने वाली बात ही नहीं डेफिनेटली खिलाड़ी के मन में एक उत्साह पैदा होगा और ओलंपिक्स के लिए सब पेपर करने लगे मुझे याद है जिस कंट्री में होस्ट हुआ है ओलंपिक्स जैसे लास्ट चाइना ओलंपिक्स में जब चाइना ने ओलंपिक्स होस्ट किया उस दौरान सब पहला नंबर पर चाइना आया जब इंग्लैंड में होस्ट हुआ लंदन में तो लंदन मेरे ख्याल इंग्लैंड ने दूसरा पोजीशन रहा ओलंपिक्स में तो कहीं ना कहीं यदि हम होस्ट करेंगे डेफिनेटली हमारे खिलाड़ियों का परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ होगा कहीं ना कहीं इस वक्त जो मेडल का टैली है डेफिनेटली बेटर होगा दिलीप जी हम पिछले ओलंपिक्स में पेरिस ओलंपिक्स में 71 पोजीशन 71वें पोजीशन में थे 71 से 7वें पोजीशन में भारत को ले जाने के लिए क्या कुछ करना पड़ेगा इस वक्त three top जी things जी that we need to address maybe agar aap hame bataye ji kaafi kuch mehnat karne ki zarurat hai aur is waqt hamare paas jo players hain jo jo 2036 olympics khel sakte hain us hisab se hame prepare karna hoga abhi hum mere khayal se bahut sare federation bahut sare teams jo hain mere khayal se abhi senior team ko leke chal rahe hain lekin 36 olympics le hame prepare karna hoga aur mere khayal se Uh, 2030 से ओलंपिक्स सोचते हुए मेडल के सोचते हुए यदि हम प्रिपेयर करेंगे डेफिनेटली हमारा मेडल के लिए बेटर हो पाएगा हमें यूथ हमें सब जूनियर जूनियर बच्चों को हमें प्रॉपर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम में शामिल करना होगा हमारे जो नेशनल नेशनल प्रोग्राम सिस्टम में उनको अभी से ही उनको शामिल करना होगा बेस्ट कोच बेस्ट ट्रेनर जो बेस्ट फैसिलिटी हो, हो सके हम उनको देना होगा गवर्नमेंट के सहयोग से फेडरेशन इस पे ध्यान देने से मेरे ख्याल से हम फ्यूचर में और बेटर कर सकते हैं वी आर आल्सो जॉइंड बाय ओलंपियन शूटर शगुन चौधरी शगुन 
the coming of Olympic Games uh, also means a lot of inf in investment in terms of infrastructure. Would you say that you know India is ready in terms of infrastructure that is required for the Olympic Games, or what do we need to do? So, as far as the infrastructure is concerned, Rika, I feel we have a lot more to do. But then we also have, if we we've just, I mean, we've just thrown our hat in the ring at the moment. We still have a lot more. Uh, there are a lot of processes that are going to happen in order to give India uh, the Olympics for 2036. So if we will still have about a decade to go uh, in order to get our infrastructure together, which is, I feel, a, a long enough duration for putting everything in place. So whatever we have, right, with the infrastructure that we have right now, we have done pretty well in the last Olympics. And we came close to, I mean, we had uh, quite a few fourth place finishes which can be the turning point for the Olympics to come. So uh, uh, it's not just infrastructure, it's also the coaching, also sports science and, uh, uh, you know, uh, agencies like JSW, the Reliance Foundation, who are doing such a fabulous job. I feel a lot more of these agencies need to come into place in order to build our bench strength and in order to uh, scout for talent at the... Uh, at the nascent level in case we do get the Olympics. So I think if we do get the Olympics, it's going to be a game changer as far as um, India being a sporting nation. While, uh, you know, we talk about India uh, becoming a game changer and become uh, Olympics becoming a game, game changer and India uh, getting to that level or getting to that stage of being uh, a sporting nation. Uh, Shagun, a lot is really going to depend on the kind of performances we turn up with. In the last Olympic Games, we we did not manage a good enough finish. We finished in the 70, 71st spot. One gold could have taken us to the 40th position. How many goals do you think India should, forget everything, how many goals do you think India should really target when, if and when Olympic comes to India? So every athlete who's been chosen to represent their country at the Olympics, including India, is not going for anything less than the gold as far as competing is concerned. But like we all know as athletes, it all boils down to that particular day in those particular seconds. Everybody had written Manu Bhakar off in the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. And I remember this interview where I said, you know, she's young. She needs the experience. She's got the experience. It just takes, uh, you know, just that one millisecond in order to change the color of the medal from a bronze to a gold. Mm -hmm. So we could have, uh, so, I mean, let's, let's just hope for the best, but it, let's first uh, try and get the Olympics for India, get all the infrastructure together, get all our coaches and, uh, uh, you know, getting the best uh, sports science avenues open to the athletes, get, getting a lot of corporates going and sponsoring athletes. I think that is, okay. what, is, uh, that is what is key at the moment. Uh, well, Norris, on one hand is India's ambitious plan of hosting the Olympic Games. Uh, IOA has uh, uh, set the ball rolling by sending the letter of intent. The, on the other hand, the whole IOA story, the Indian Olympic Association is in the middle of a royal mess. What does it really require from here to kind of, to, to, to get the Olympic Games? Because what I understand, being a journalist, perhaps when things go to IOC, they will look for a united front. Uh, Rika, <clears throat> here we are talking about two different things. Actually, one is performances. Which, uh, no, I'm not talking mean? about the performances right no, no, no. now. What, I'm talking what I'm about is, what, just what, the what IOA and the mess. Performance is one thing. What, 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 what now I'm saying is that what you raised the point about IOA. So we have to be very, very careful that we work as one team. I mean, let's not forget because about some 10, 15 years ago, the news was not spreading so fast to the international quarters. Nowadays, because of social media, internet, and whatever happens here, it's a news next day, not only in India, all over the world. So whatever is happening is, I mean, I personally, I mean, I'm sharing with some of my friends in the international federations or IOC, they've been asking me what is happening because they know that the IOA is, is a divided house. I mean, if, imagine against the president, if the, some members of the IOA uh, council committee, the council, if they are uh, raising protest against the president, I mean, it's not only news in India, it's abroad also. So these are very, very important things. And then there is a political problem that, you know, we 
keep talking about Manipur, this, that, and the other. So all these things are taken into granted. And why I was talking about performance was that Greece Olymp uh, organized the Olympics in 2004. They were not superpower in sports in Athens. Rio, the games were held in Rio in 2016. The performances were not great. So performance is one thing, but we have to be prepared in other fields also. And that is very important, the infrastructure, because when we talk about the games, we would talk about India, but the, the games are given to a city, not to India. I mean, which city you think is fully prepared to hold the Olympic Games? Um, I mean, we, we can say there is a lot of time, but there might be some political changes also. I mean, you might say that I'm... Uh, thinking aloud of what I'm doing, but these are the facts that one has to take in, into consideration when we bid. I mean, of course, we have bid, but it's a long, long time, as Shogun was saying, it's a decades, and uh, so we have to be prepared. But I think the best thing is that IUA Federation, everyone has to sit together for the national interest and sort it out internally instead of making a mess of it in front of media, in front of an international uh, forum and all that. So I think uh, this is one thing we have to do. Otherwise, the message is, uh, the signal is wrong for the international community and uh, also the IOC. Let me go over to uh, uh, Dilip Tirke. Uh, Dilip ji, who is a player, athletes, they do their care of the federation. They do their care of the government, they do their care of the government, but they do their care of the federation. What kind of reforms are required in the federation? ताकि वो भी ओलंपिक मूवमेंट को सपोर्ट कर सके। ओलंपिक्स के लिए, ओलंपिक्स गेम्स के लिए, ओलंपिक्स मेडल के लिए फेडरेशन का रोल काफी इम्पोर्टेंट होता है प्रिपरेशन के लिए किस तरीके खिलाड़ियों का प्रिपरेशन से बेटर हो पाएगा एक्सपोजर प्रोग्राम ऑर्गेनाइज करना, ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम ऑर्गेनाइज क ये सभी चीजें काफी इम्पोर्टेंट होता है और और उसके साथ साथ गवर्नमेंट के सपोर्ट के बिना मेरे ख्याल से बहुत डिफिकल्ट है और हमेशा मैं भी काफी देखते आ रहा हूँ साई गवर्नमेंट काफी काफी सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं और साथ ही साथ इधर भी कॉर्पोरेट सेक्टर भी मेरे ख्याल से इसके साथ जुड़ना चाहिए डिफरे� लेकिन उनको उनको भी मेरे ख्याल से कॉपरेट के सपोर्ट मिलने से और बेटर कर पाएंगे। शगुन, you know we've been getting a lot of reactions on social media saying that this will not really boost India's economy. This will be a huge drainage of the exchequer. Tell us a little bit about your experience. You have seen Olympics being organized in several parts of the globe. Um, you know also the last time. Um, Commonwealth Games came to India, you were a part of the Indian shooting contingent. We've also heard stories about how Brisbane did not want to host the Commonwealth Games this time around and a much smaller version of the Commonwealth Games will be held in Glasgow. With respect to all that we are seeing, how would you really describe uh, the Games uh, and, and its impact on India's economy? I think it's going to be absolutely great for India. First of all, like uh, Mr. Norris said, the the games are given to a particular city. The kind of backing we have with the agencies, whether it's Reliance or whether it's the Tatas and with the government, everything, in order to build a world-class city for sport is not going to be difficult. India as, a, in, uh, India as a country on its own attracts a lot of tourists um, and uh, tourism is one of its strengths. So I don't see why it is not going to actually, uh, it's not going to take away from the country. It's actually going to boost the infrastructure of a particular city in order to make it a sporting city. And uh, then also, as we have seen, uh, produce world-class athletes from the 2036 uh, Olympics to onwards for the Asian Games and everything. So I think it's a win-win situation for the country as a, as a matter of prestige. And it's going to change the entire dynamics of sports in for India in terms of, like I have spoken earlier, it's not just the infrastructure, the kind of knowledge that will come to India in terms of raising athletes 
and uh, you know creating a great foundation for it to be a sporting nation will be set in the process if we if we win the bid so i think it's going to be an i mean and we are we are doing well as a country we are uh, i mean we are uh, booming so maybe other countries will not be could not handle the pressure and all that i don't think india falls short in that at all Narissa, India will face stiff competition from the likes of uh, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Qatar. Uh, do you think um, you know India stands a good chance uh, when it comes to the Olympic bid? It's very difficult to say, Rika. Now, I mean, again, I'm saying let's not talk about the performance at the time of the bid. That comes later. We have to perform well. to say that yes we host, hosted the games and we are doing well but at the moment we have to be one team and that one team has to be i mean well, there are internal uh, politics and dynamics that we can sort it out sort it out amongst ourselves but internationally we have to uh, show one face in unison so that we get the games so let's not talk about the performance right now the now the question is which city is going to get the games and how, what's and that city how is that city is going to be developed as, as a venue for the olympic games performance comes later dilip ji ye jo aaj ka announcement hua hai ye jo uh, aaj pata chala hai ki ioc ko ioa ne likha hai intent letter of intent diya hai olympic organize karne ke liye athlete ecosystem mein iska kya impact hoga will the athletes be charged up दिलीप जी आ, मेरा सवाल ये है कि ये आज का जो डेवलपमेंट हुआ है आईओए ने आईओसी को लेटर ऑफ इंटेंट दिया है 2036 का ओलंपिक्स करने के लिए आपको लगता है इससे एथलीट इकोसिस्टम पर एक इम्पैक्ट होगा दे विल बी चार्ज्ड अप बिल्कुल बिल्कुल इसमें कोई शक नहीं है और जिस हिसाब से जिस हिसाब से शुरुआत हुई है और हम सब कई दिनों से सुनते आ रहे हैं कि 2036 ओलंपिक्स मीट करने जा रहे हैं फाइनली आज लेटर ऑफ इंटेंट आई यू द्वारा भेजी गई है डेफिनेटली मैं कहना चाहूँगा कि इंडियन स्पोर्ट्समैन के लिए इंडियन स्पोर्ट्स के लिए जैसे संगन जी बोल रहे थे कि जो ओलंपिक्स मूवमेंट का जो जो देश भर में जो भीड़ आएगी मेरे ख्याल से एक, एक स्पोर्टिंग नेशन डिफरेंट लेवल में चले जाएगी सबका माइंडसेट जितने भी यूथ सबका माइंडसेट एक डिफरेंट लेवल में चली जाएगी एक रियली एक स्पोर्टिंग नेशन बन जाएगी सब कोई जुड़ जाएंगे और जहां तक ओलंपिक्स होस्ट करना एक ऑनर है कंट्री के लिए और हमें भी मालूम है हम भी कई सारे ओलंपिक्स गेम में पार्टिसिपेट किए हुआ देखें किस तरीके से माहौल रहता है किस तरह लोगों का लोगों का इन्वॉल्वमेंट रहता है किसी इकोसिस्टम डेवलप होता है हर एक एरियाज में हर एक सिटीज में हर एक सेक्टर्स में हर एक लोगों के बीच में डिफरेंट माइंडसेट सेट हो जाता है डेफिनेटली मैं कहूँगा ओलंपिक्स इस मूवमेंट से जितने भी हमारे यंग स्टार हैं जितने भी खिलाड़ी हैं डेफिनेटली उसमें काफी पॉजिटिव वाइवेशन आएगा Shagun I have just enough time to take a last question with you the Indian Olympic Association has set the ball rolling uh, for what could be a momentous occasion for India do you think it is also the start truly the start of olympic movement in india I think the olympic movement has been there in india for many uh, for quite a few olympics from the start from when we started sending our teams it's just that it takes time for every country to get to a certain level and i think we've reached that level where we have produced uh, cha- world champions olympic champions uh, asian games champions so it's just a step forward in the right direction as far as athletes the athletes and the olympic movement coming together and uh, doing whatever it can for for the country thank you very much uh, shagun uh, norris and uh, dilip ji for joining me on the broadcast at this hour